Hey guys, I'm gonna do make a kind of a different video today, and uh, if you don't like that, you sir may fuck off. Yes, I am doing a fan video of the Small Town Murder podcast, but now I'm gonna play a audio bit from the pod podcasts. You hey, find me at Wisman Sucks, W H I S M A N Sucks on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. I appreciate the interaction and seeing and hearing from you guys, so thank you very much. Appreciate it. Uh, definitely. I'm at Jimmy P is funny. You can find me there or copy and paste my last name if you want to do Facebook or whatever. There's an I in there, so don't try to spell it on your own. It's a mess. Uh... So, we are gonna. He, he, so, he is saying that. It's hard to spell his name. And uh, that there is an eye in there. And sometimes he asks you not to do it. You don't want to be a hero and venture into that type of quest. So I'm gonna take this whiteboard right here. And be that hero and find the eye. It's not that far. It's not that hard if you're not illiterate. Okay, so you start with... The name is Pietro Gallo, okay? It should really make sense that where where the I is. Okay. Petra. That's an R right there. I can't spell for shit. G... G... A... L... L... O. Oh, something is missing. Isn't it? Like an eye? I wonder where it might be. There. Right there at the beginning. That is why I haven't jump cut it yet. So I'm about to die. Anyway, now we can jump cut. Now that that is out of the way. Because... Uh, I did the unthinkable. Ah, oh, fuck me. Now, I could have ended my video right there, but that's not my... I, I have a spare hour or two, so I did my own investigation. Through numerous source resources, I have uh, looked for an answer to the question what does Pietra Gallo mean? First, I re used my tools and resources and searched for Pietra Gallo in itself as the full name. And there were, of course, no results. Turns out, according to data from the US in 2000, 2010, there was less than a hundred people that were named Pietro Gallo as their surname. So that is why it was hard to find a meaning for a name that is so r rare. So what did I do next? I split the name in two, Pietra and Gallo. Uh, that is because that is actual words with actual meanings or names. Let's start with Pietra. P-I-E-T-R-A. It's the feminine version of Peter. You know, the Roman name from the Bible? Uh, from the good old classic Bible? It was the main man in Jesus' posse. You know, the first Pope, according to the uh, books and texts. It's It, it derives from an ancient Greek word, actually, that is Petros, and it means stone. So, Petros, stone. There is also many other versions of the same name in other languages, such as uh, Piero, Piotr, Petra, Pietrina, and the like. As you heard, that was Polish. Uh, Spanish and Italian, of course, and the female version in Italian. And uh, really, there is no lot more to go on based on Pietro. If most people know who Peter is and what that means, besides Petro Stone and all that. Anyway, 
Let's move on to Gallo. It's an Italian name that derives from the ancient the Roman word that is Gallus. And it's actually not a word, it's a, it's a name, an ancient family name from ancient Rome. And when I say ancient Roman, it's basically Latin. And in Latin, Gallus means... Uh, it translates to rooster, and that was the family name, rooster. So rooster was a nickname for someone who was uh, proud, per se, proud strutting around, showing off. You know, like how a rooster struts are about in the yard. Not in my yard, you know. A real hot shot that is, uh, yeah, real proud, you know. So that is the meaning of gallo. And Pietra, now we are gonna smash those two together and see what we are coming up with. And uh, if Pietra means Peter or Stone and Gallo means Rooster, we have Peter Rooster, which kind of sounds like a terrible mobster name, you know, like the kind of hitman that wakes up early to smoke you early or is just an early early wake up type of guy or the name can even mean uh, stone Peter rooster and uh, Peter stone rooster yeah anyway if you look at other nearby languages geographically we see that both Polish and Spanish and probably more, but I didn't bother to research that much. We see that there is their own versions of Gallo, mainly Gow Gowell, which is the Polish version, and Gallo with one L, which is the Spanish w version. Both these are originating from the same ancient Roman word, Gallo, which uh, by cross reference referencing these types of different sources you see that there has been an ancient word that is gallo for sure that is how you know more than one source of information and through and through immigration from the fall of rome it's natural to assume that immigration has spread the name around the Central Europe area and uh, France and such and over to Iberia, which is Spain and Portugal Which again is creating different types of Versions of the same name because you know back then there were no social media so Gallo after a while became Gowell just like Piot became was was originally Peter, and we all know Piotr is Polish now, and Polish are Catholics, and you say, see how it crosses back to the original point. So it's safe to say, not really, that James Pietra Gallo's heritage is from ancient Rome. How cool is that? And Pietra being the female equivalent of Peter, we can Imagine some female line of this family of roosters or ancient Roman family, Gallo. Maybe this female line ran off and started the Pietra Gallo family. If this is the case, only noble women who uh, married people of lower rank uh, kept their surnames. So if this is the case, case that the female line ran off and started the Pietro Gallo family, it is natural to assume a lot of assumptions, but it's natural to assume that the Pietro Gallo heritage may have been uh, a noble family as well as the other one. So maybe the OG Pietro Gallo was a noble woman. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know enough about the Pietro Gallo family history 
So I, I don't, I, I can't make any other assumptions than, than what I already have been doing. Maybe one of his ancestors just thought it sounded cool. It may be that easy. All this is speculation, of course, and now the video is over. I know this video is different from what I usually make, but I don't give a fuck, it's my channel. Fuck you!